Boss, you want to be a police liaison officer, do you, Donny? Don't worry, there's nobody listening. Trouble is, there's no one been talking about where her husband might be hiding. Oh, what, what, she ain't even said Zilch. Dutch? And the thing is, Donny, there's a lot of pressure on me to find this bloke. So you better work on his wife a bit cleverer and liaise me something useful. Quick as, yeah? Yeah, yeah, sure, boss. It's just, uh, you know, I, I had to go to a few... Right onto it, boss. You're getting a bit overboard, aren't you? All right, listen up, everyone. You can blame Janine Nabeski for this. She was apprehended earlier today trying to smuggle drugs into Larkhall. What? But she was at a funeral. No, she was dead upset. I don't believe it. I want each and every one of you to know that the police have been contacted with a view to charging Nabeski. So let that be a lesson to you all. From now on, if you're caught with drugs, you'll be punished severely. Christ. Oh, Janine. You should be so bleeding stupid. You think it's funny? A kid like Janine getting in the ship. Silly bitch deserves what she gets. Smuggling drugs at her own mum's funeral. It's out of order. Don't flush it. Oh. Any drugs you've got, I'll have them. I've got about 12 valleys and some skull. Just, just take them before this in my room. This looks like a good time to buy. Any idea where I can get some crystal meth? Stay back, Al Johani. How did you get on with the police today? I told them what I told you. I don't know where Hassan is. And I don't believe anything they're saying about him. Why would I? I know they're lying about Hassan. Look, Amira, what I think you've got to do is talk to someone you can trust. They, you know, like your Muslim priest, the Imam. We have one that comes in here, I could sort it out for you. You'd trust him to tell you what's best to do, wouldn't you? Look, say if you did know where your husband was hiding, you know, ask him what's best to do if you were doing right by your religion, by telling lies to the police. I'm fine dealing with things on my own right now. Come. Oh, dear. You look as if you could use a drink. Hmm. And a bit of a running with the master earlier. You as well? Yeah. Took your advice on Philid Osmond, though. I think she was suffering from depression more than anything else. So I've had her shipped out to a private nursing home. And Joy agreed to this? You're after a little bit of blackmail. Oh, I wish I could have been there. <laughs> <laughs> You're not quite as po-faced as you make out, are you? I'm quite the reverse. And if ever you want to find out... Kill a question. Are you enjoying... Well, put it like this. She is definitely in love with me. Really? Christ. Do you think I'm flattering myself? No. Oh, dear God, Rowan. Me in that old bag. <laughs> I do have my standards, you know. Do they apply to men? Are you coming on to me, Dr Dunlop? Just don't want to step on Joy's toes. Really? I didn't hear you knock. I got a little present for you. So you're trying to tempt me. I just can't resist. And then you can set me up for a piss test. Only I can resist, and I'm not a prat. What? Like the poor bitches you sell to? Or forced to run your shitty errands? 
Any one of those junkies would wet their pants for a freebie. So, get some manners, Buxton. I'm in a generous mood. Take this pill, or I'll make sure you can't. Piss off. Set your course. Come on. Come on, swallow. in the world. Angela Robbins. Pleased to meet you. Time you got to listen, you slag! Oh. 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 